everyone, it is such a warm and sunny day here and I hope that you are having a perfect day too. I've had a busy week so I'm finally back filming a video that I promised to do. It is a video about skincare, hair care and makeup products that I purchased in that beauty exhibition that I mentioned in my last video. So I'm going to go through every product and give you a short description and my opinion about it. So are you ready? Say yes! Um, let's begin! <laughs> If you know what my favorite makeup products are, you can already say what did I buy first. And yes, they are lip products. These two are from NYX and they're quite actually similar in shades. They both are nudes. So first is this matte lipstick in Sable. I had to buy it without trying it on because there were no testers and I'm so happy that I took a risk and bought it because this one is my favorite lipstick at the moment. It is in a cooler light brown shade and I'm actually wearing it right now and I think it is more than beautiful. It applies so easily and doesn't feel drying, so both shade and consistency are just perfect. Second one is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Sock Home. I thought that I have worn the same shade, but actually they are a little bit different, so that is nice. I always put a nude lip pencil and lay this one on top, and here you go, you have a perfect nude matte lip combo. Another lip product is not from the exhibition, in fact it is from Malta. I got it from my lovely boyfriend. It is NAC Lip Gloss in the shade Telegenius. It is in a beautiful peachy shimmery color, so if you like natural lip gloss this will be just for you. I personally like to put it over any shade if I want plumping glossy finish. Another makeup product is this blusher from Inglot in the shade 33. It was quite hard to choose from various colors, but I ended up liking this one. This is a darker plum shimmery shade. It is on my cheeks right now and the tip would be to apply a very small amount and don't blend it because after blending the plum shade will go away. After one year of dreaming about this product, I finally bought it and it is Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. I know it might be an old news for you, but I'm excited to finally have a good primer. It didn't last all night long, but I think it's because I put two creams underneath it and it is a little bit too much for a primer to hold. Anyways, I'm still satisfied with this primer because it does a great job and it doesn't clog pores, that is the most important thing. And the last makeup product is this Makeup Forever Smoky Stretch Mascara. I have tried it on my eyes during the exhibition and I couldn't find any other mascara that could compete with this one. It made my lashes look really long and really black, so I think I have found a new favorite mascara. crazy with skincare products because as we all know I'm very picky when it comes to my skin. I have bought two things for my face and both are from Natura Siberica. So the first one is this face cleansing milk for normal and dry skin but I think this one is appropriate for oily skin too. It is an ecological natural product that has no parabens and mineral oils so that is one great thing and another great thing is that it has a really pleasant consistency and removes your makeup so so easily. Well, another product is the Siberian Ginseng Eye Cream Gel. It says it reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness, giving the eye area a visibly brighter, more awake look. Well, I don't have that problematic under eye area, so maybe that's why I didn't notice any changes. But what can I say is that it has a really soft consistency and soaks in well and didn't cause any irritations. I'm constantly planning to do a video of hair care products, but the one thing that stops me is that I couldn't find a perfect shampoo that I would like to recommend you. I have been using a lot of shampoos lately, but none of them were my true loves. But eventually I have found some good stuff. These are made for people with oily hair and me and my friends can rely that hair becomes greasy slower. 
I think it drains the scalp so it maybe shouldn't be used daily. The shampoo itself is pleasant because it foams up and the conditioner leaves the hair gentle. So if you're struggling with oily hair, you might want to try it, especially when hot days are coming. So these are mostly all of my purchases from that beauty exhibition. To be honest, I have left some products because I will talk about them in my separate videos. Make sure you don't miss any of my videos by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and now it's time to say goodbye. Bye!